Among the latest articles on the situation across Taiwan streets, published in the U.S. Army's bimonthly magazine Military Review, some advocated returning U.S. forces to Taiwan. I have to say that advocating such a thing is lunacy because it's bound to trigger war in the Taiwan streets. China's anti-secession law stipulates three conditions for resolving the Taiwan question with military means. The U.S. forces returning to Taiwan would meet these conditions, and the People's Liberation Army would definitely take action and engage in a just war to liberate Taiwan. I would like to tell Americans, if the U.S. and Taiwan don't take the mainland red line seriously, war will come. The People's Liberation Army is powerful now, even if we are just a little weaker than we are now. If the U.S. and Taiwan insist on playing their cards like this, this is a war we must fight to the end at any cost. This is not about making threats to Washington. This determination is real. In addition, if the U.S. sends higher-level officials to visit Taiwan, the mainland, we without a doubt react with more than flying PRA fighter jets over the so-called middle line of the Taiwan streets, such as PRA fighter jets flying over the Taiwan to declare sovereignty. Both the U.S. and Taiwan need to be prepared for a highly intense confrontation.